Special project actualized. After almost giving up home studying the accursed ceramic object for so long, we reached a, reached a breakthrough. The object wasn't really there, but rather it's a projection from a higher dimension. Analyzing it as a shadow of a fourth dimensional object, we have accumulated enough data to decrypt its message. The object teaches us how to improve in all fields of research. Any question is, who sent this information? I don't think I've ever got this outcome before. Two years of plus 15% research. Our research is going to be huge for a while. Sweet. Alright, science ship is not moving. You are the anomaly research team. So, I think what I'm going to... No, we'll, we'll continue working from inwards outwards. So, I guess go and research those anomalies. I'm just double checking. Oh no, we have an anomaly there. Research those. Then research those. And that should be grand. Uh, the next thing I want to do is encourage planetary growth on Keldalund. So we have it on both of these planets. Then we can start exporting them to other locations. So Mike Prime needs to build something. In fact, again, I'm out of minerals. We really do need to improve our mineral production. Outlier identified. This is good, because in the previous game I was never short on minerals, which definitely means I was missing something in terms of construction. Well, this time I have it. Our science officer has found an anomaly. It will require extensive probing. Leave it for now. Chat's just turned into a Star Trek discussion site. Hey, we're playing a sci-fi game, so that kind of thing's inevitable. Alright, so Tarzil has been colonized. I would like you to build me some mining stations, Special which just cost me all of my mining minerals. Never mind. When not posturing with their mining lasers aimed at merchant ships, the drones appear steadfast and dumbly hardworking, hacking away at mineral-poor asteroids for want of something better to do. What is more interesting is that the drones are not completely silent, contrary to earlier assumptions. They emit signal pings, though extremely infrequently and at a wavelength hard to isolate from the background noise. There's anyone left to receive these pings? Maybe a mystery for another time. Easy prey, we can get more damage to mining drones, or our mining stations become more efficient. We're Definitely getting the fascinating autonomer. And we're still building a couple more expeditionaries. Um, yeah, we kind of need to wait until Hunter is cleared. Do we have any further ship design upgrades to do? I don't think we do. Guns haven't been developed. Shields haven't been developed. The only thing I have is the reactor core. Which I'm not going to bother upgrading. A system has been surveyed. Upscaling complete. A discarded cargo pod was left by someone in the upper atmosphere of Nostrea six long ago. It somehow escaped to notice other spacefarers and has been decaying orbit means it would have been lost into the gas giant's crushing atmosphere within another few years. When the crew of the Johnny Five unsealed the pod, they found a stash of alien jewellery made out of precious minerals. Sweet. I'm going to keep that energy in surplus because remember one of the factions actually likes it when we have a lot of money. In fact, your support is dropping. Oh, that's support as in people. Yeah, most of them are going for the Hunseatic League, who did get renamed. It is not renamed here. That's interesting. So we do need a different name for the Internal Development uh, Board, which are the pacifists. Uh, which I've already got a name. Although, if you come up with a better name, then please do let me know. Please do tell me. But considering they're the ones that want me to have 5,000 in the bank at any time, I think that, that makes sense. 
Storm Squall, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And Monkey Fingers, I think I forgot that one. Sorry about that. Welcome to the channel. Abandoned amusement park. The structures on Nostia 2 are not as old as we once believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer Arako Avarach notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations. Gain a bunch of technology. We are going to be teching up so hard. And we are now losing money, but eh, it's fine. Just means we need to do more trade. <laughs> Money faction, the Mordcorp accounting department. Okay. GN Fighter, you're not just leading the Hanseatic League. You are the Stutthelder. You're the boss of this whole conglomeration. Didn't I want to name factions after the Trade Leagues? No, what I wanted to do was name the Sectors after Trade Leagues. But now that Sectors seem to be another step removed from actually mattering, um, I don't really care. I just leave them be. So... We can use those names for something else. Future market <laughs> Money complete. faction, the wolves of Maud Street. I mean that that is good. Uh yeah, sorry, that one is edging out. That that one's clever. Except they're hang on, no, they're pacifists. No no no, that wouldn't work. You wouldn't call a pacifist faction wolves. It is really good. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's another freaking company. Oh, it's caravan. That's, that's fine. Ah, ah, the hmm. ah, the merchants. Finally, the winds of fortune have brought us to your beautiful land. We are the Numistic Order, faithful servants of the goddess Numa, and we have come to offer you her blessed verge. Our fleets travel the divine currents of cosmic energy. Whenever the winds of fortune take us, bringing us new deals every time we enter your land. For a modest donation of the wonders of the universe could be yours. All transactions in credit, please. Greetings, caravanners. Many wondrous things can be passed through our hands, yet we never line our pockets. It is the sacrifice we make so the construction of the Teshar Torvil can be completed, and our children may one day see the holy land again. Show me your wares. Patterns in the energy flow. They are everywhere. Yet no one sees. Numa alone can protect the divine ebb and flow of the stock market. For a small donation, we will share some of her wisdom with you. As always, we need time con to consider. If you notify, sorry, if we can notify you before we depart your territory, giving you one more chance to accept the goddess's generous offer. Uh, Numistic data modeling, but you're actually going to tell me what it does. Uh, tell me later. And do we do? Oh, yeah, Ross Prime desperately needs another district. Um, we'll build some more agriculture, then, buddy. My Prime also does. Old with defects. Our star base in Caldelon system reports that the coalition base fleet has evacuated an abandoned and decrepit ship, now in unstable orbit around the system's central star. I can either search it, I can let the sun swallow it, or I can tow it to a star base for disposal, which will gain me 278 um, consumer goods. Option is available due to Mordcorp having the corporate government authority. Absolutely, we're going to charge them. Yeah, I know, I'm negative. Thieves! After a recent visit of the Coalition base, the Caldelant has been noticed that a number of resources are missing from the Central Reserve. Uh. 
At least if you're going to be thieving, do it legitimately and call it business. Research actualized. Research. A warm welcome. As the Coalition base entered the orbit of Jessica Prime for what should have been a brief courtesy visit today, a spontaneous outbreak of goodwill turned into a combination of open air markets and parties. Gain a thousand. Okay. It's kind of the same thing that happened last time. Although, in different order. So I can get better armor, better missiles, or alloy mega forges. Alloy mega forges use the moats. Which we have found. Although we can't stabilize them yet. Let's go for the metal armor. We need to upgrade our combat fleet a little bit more. Uh, you can just move along. The latest sensory readings from Sandpad A show the star pulsating regularly, but with the crew on the Johnny Five arrived at the site, there was no evidence to support this data. While most of the crew are in agreement that the anomaly was caused by a sensory malfunction, Science Officer Arako Varich discards the theory. Varich claims that the discovered semi-pulsating energy emission patterns elsewhere, and now fears that something strange is happening in the galaxy's stars. They have charted the course to the nearest affected star. Situation log revised. Um, so what you're saying is you want to go to this. Upscaling complete. Oh, pause. Uh, that's not far away. Do the research project, then do the anomaly. Well, finish that, then project, then anomaly. Meanwhile, the fleet. How's the fleet gathered? The fleet is gathered. We have a combat speed of 600... Uh, combat ability of 600. Why is that low? Why has that gone down? It should be 800 and something. And the fact that it's red does mean it's been decreased, right? Or is it always red? That just feels really low. They steal 200 and give a 1,000 back. Worth it. Yeah. No, they did only steal 200. Ah, yeah. Okay. It's because I have no shields. You're right. So this is going to be 600 versus 800. This is going to be iffy. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Sapad 1A. The light sublight vessel was built by unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails is a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteorite, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. So these are the ancient mining drones. No, oh, strength is still low. And hasn't changed. Oh, their shields need time to reload. The system has been surveyed. Nope, still 600. The shields have recharged. 2,000 out of zero. The shield's bugged. Market outlier identified. It feels like the shields are bugged. Unless it carries over for a time. That seems unlikely, though. These should all have blue bars. That's what I'm looking at here. Shields are charged. They're just not displaying. Okay, it's a bug. Why don't I expand more? I have plenty of influence because I want to expand this way. And then go up this. Because this is the only way that people can get to me. This is blocked by the Fallen Empire. This is blocked by the Marauders. 
that's it. No other entrances. So if I can control this entrance, then I can control this entire region. And that's a huge region of space. And I want to absolutely blitz down here because I don't know if I have any neighbours on that side. Um, however, if I can't beat these guys, then I'm going to have to colonise this way. And that's going to take me rather longer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight star bases rather than one, two, three, four. Twice as many. And yes, I know what um, Empire Cohesion is. Right now we're at 100% because I have a lot of star bases. And my star base capacity means I'm going to have a lot of star bases, so Cohesion isn't as great a problem. Also, the number of actual entrances. I mean, Cohesion is calculated by undefended entrances, effectively, to your empire. Or not undefended, just entrances. So if there aren't many entrances like over here where there are literally no entrances, then the cohesion just stays high. It's like if I took over Vanum and not Kara, that one, that one, that one, that one, then that would be a low cohesion. It's good and bad as you don't have any trade options. Yes, I know. This is pissing me off, but I'm so glad I've gone for the internal trade option. So I at least have some kind of payoff. Um... I really don't know whether I want to fight these guys. Especially if that military power is not recalculating. I'm just going to save and reload. See if that fixes things. Nope. Okay, so the lines have reappeared. So that was a bug. But the military power is still only displaying 630. Is it always red? Am I going crazy here? Am, am I overthinking this? I feel like I might be. Alright, so what do these things have for defenses? Hull, armor, no shields. So I should be using entirely lasers. I mean, I can go back and refit, that's not a problem. In fact, I think I might. If I'm going to be attacking with less strength than they. Yeah, that's a fight we would definitely lose. Uh, what kind of weapons do you do? Reduction to shield damage. Additional armor and especially hull. So we want to have loads and loads of shields if possible. Uh, that's another thing which can definitely be done. In fact, am I researching shields right now? No. No. And neither is it available. Basic combat rolls. I do like the combat rolls. I do also like blue lasers. Blue lasers are cheaper. Let's go for that first. Um, so, shields. We need to upgrade. Ship designer. You. Another deflector. Which we can afford, thanks to my level 2 reactors. Alright, go and... Refit. That's an expensive refit. And in fact, Sargas, one of the things you could do with, I think, is a shipyard. I mean, I do want you to have a lot of guns, don't get me wrong, but a shipyard would be good too. Uh, the other thing I could also do is upgrade my star bases to actually have some guns to protect some of the trade coming through here. Oh, I never upgraded. Ross Prime. Whoops. Although, Jessica, wow, you generate a lot of trade. How much am I earning in trade now? 85. And am I being hit by piracy at all? Yeah, but slowly.
So 769 in the future. Yeah, it's changed now. That's really weird. And you're saying I should have done it as a refit. Red means they lost some fighting power. If it was full strength, it'd be yellow. That's what I was thinking. I think this is right. Oh, you're saying it will automatically change them. But the... Oh. These are a different class. What? Why are these a different class? They should be Snackers. Now we're good. Special project actualized. Space Amoebas forever. The Space Amoebas, the nickname now lovingly popular, popularized on Keldalont, are solitary animals. When left to their own devices, all but the younger specimens are accompanied by quasi-independent organisms, dubbed flagella, seemingly spawned by the amoeba and programmed through liquid. RNA laced secretions do the bidding of the host initially assumed to be young space amoebas. The flagella do not seem to factor into any reproductive mechanics in every individual flagellum, instead operating solely as a disconnected limb for the host amoeba. These flagella are capable of manipulating or even attacking objects in an impressive yet restricted range around the host, periodically returning to lodge inside the host, uh, host amoeba's body for reprogramming. There are potential military applications to be found in the regenerative properties of the amoebas thick hide, or in the flagella's graceful patterns of movement. So I can gain plus five evasion. Or we can get regenerating hull. I'm going to go with the evasion. Party aftermath. In the months following the party with the Huskera on Jessica Prime, evidence is mounting that some of the bands formed or bonds formed were closer than previously believed. A new species that is a crossbreed of Huskar and Morchant. Hang on. Half Morchant. Which have... They're intelligent, so they're better at researching. They're adaptive, and they're quick learners, so they do not have thrifty, but they are quarrelsome, so they produce less unity, and they're also solitary. That's kind of cool. We have three of them already. Sweet. That's actually really good, especially if we have those in the home territories. Their full citizenship. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we are going to want them on the homeland. So where are they right now? That's all merchants. They're all here. That's fine because we do have technology research labs. Present. Glorious. Alright, we have a lot of minerals which we could be investing in stuff. You are low on housing. You could probably do with another city district and also another research lab. Especially if you're going to be home to the hybrids. 
which I'm perfectly happy with. Research labs. Can't afford the city district. I need more mining! I feel like this mechanic gives rise to some serious xenophobe. Spiritualist runs preaching the purity of genetics. In my game, not so much, but you can certainly do that. Because we're serious xenophile, not xenophobe. Fanatic xenophobe, pacifists is what we are. Like full on traders. I could continue expanding in other directions while we're waiting. This is true. You would give me more trade value, so that would be worth colonizing. We could also go for the rare materials. Although I can't actually harvest those just yet. So not necessarily worthwhile. But I am aware that I have quite a lot of influence. The thing is, as soon as I start blitzing down here, it's going to be quick. Nah, we'll wait. Are there any... Oh yeah, there are buildings we can do. Get the mining stations. Get the research stations. Get the research stations. And there is a colony there. And also all the stuff here. Wow, I've been really lacking in that. And Hytheria is now available. So Heldeland, your shipyard, please. Get me another colony ship. Merchants. And on that note, I think that is going to be a good time to call it for this stream. I will be back in an hour though, so don't go anywhere. Well, do if you want to have a break or whatever. Uh, but I'll be back again at 10 o'clock this evening, GMT, to continue the series because I'm actually... No, almost said it. Almost said it. This has been acceptable. So if you have been enjoying this yourself, then please do hit that follow button to get notifications when I'm live again in the future. Like I said, it's in an hour. If you're really enjoying this, then do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out and lets me do more of this kind of content. If you want to support the channel in other ways, check out my Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash mordredviking. I do have a YouTube channel, which you can find at youtube.com slash mordredviking, where this series will be uploaded. Right now, it's going to be the Viking Holdings, which I'm uploading over there. But uh, we will switch to this in the not so distant future uh, i think i'm only up going to upload to like episode 10 i think it's like i'm cutting off an hour from the end because it really was kind of dull it's like right after shen raid and then i boom over but i at least acknowledge that um oh and i forgot to do the blip bloopy things so the youtube channel you can find here if you want to support the channel other ways you can check out the patreon which you can find here and then also Discord, which is where I hang out. It's also where the community hangs out. So if you want to hang out with us and talk about games and get excited for all the stuff happening in the future, then please do consider doing so. Back in an hour, and we'll continue this. I'll see you then. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>